Hello everyone, I'm Jared Plummer with my co-host Christian, uh, Christian Grandison and Josiah Brown Price. Today we will be talking about uh, who in the NBA has the best young team during the regular season going into the playoffs. Josiah? It's, it's going to be the Memphis Grizzlies. They have John Moran who averaged 17 and, and got 35 points, points, 6 assists and 6 rebounds against the Warriors. Plus, trading for Jared Culver who can get Nice points off the bench. Hmm. Christian? Um, so I actually disagree with that. I think that it's going to be the Detroit Pistons. I mean, you're seeing Jeremy Grant, who averaged 33 points last season, um, along with um, Cade Cunningham, the new beast rookie coming into the NBA. I think that that's going to be a strong offense and a strong defense to compete against. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. Jeremy Grant is 27. He, he has, like, uh, five more years, uh, five more years in the NBA. Second of all, it's really hard for point guards and shooting guards to transition into the NBA. But no, because the K Cunningham one is probably most rookies aren't going to run the actual point guard role until later in their maybe second third year, because you know the point guard usually runs the whole floor. So we're not, they're not going to let the rookies do that. It's probably going to be more like Jeremy Grant. Jeremy Grant is not going to retire in five years. You're seeing players like LeBron who are retiring at, or not, not even retired yet, and they're going on 40 years old. So I don't think Jeremy Grant's going to retire anytime soon, and I think that the Pistons are going to be the new face of the future in the NBA. Well, that is really wrong because we, because the Grizzlies have not only John Grant, but they have a great bench with with Rondon Rondo now. They have Jonas Valanciunas, and they still have Dylan Brooks, who averaged 17 points per game last season. Yes, but you're forgetting the um, big man on their team. They have um, they have Mason Plumlee, they have Kelly Olenek. All those guys are going to be coming in, and you know those guys are very good defenders, and they're going to be able to get those boards. Kelly Olenek's going to get the boards, and then Mason Plumlee's going to be able to score some points, and make some good plays on defense. Yeah. All right, let me ask you. Who do you think out of the two has better shooters and better offense? Well, it's easy. We have the better offense, but they clearly have the better defense with Jeremy Grant. So, yes, I will say that the defensive part is true. But, I mean, you can't be forgetting that in Kay Cunningham's college season, he averaged, what, like 25 points? So, you never know what could happen. Yeah, but you still never know what, how much job we will put up after after what you saw, after what we saw him do in the playoffs, going 35, 6, and 6 on good field goal percentage. Plus, Dylan Brooks, with good, with even more minutes, he'll get 20-something points. But Jeremy Grant is also hauling in the minutes, too, well, for the well, We can't talk about Jeremy Grant, because that could have been just one good, real good season. That's true. And, but and injuries, can, injuries could happen. Okay, that's true, but they also have good players coming off the bench. I mean, you see, like I said, you have Mason Plumlee. It depends on who they start. Mason Plumlee, Kelly Olenek. You still have two big seven-footers that can still defend the paint. And also, you got um, a good, like, shooters just all around. You have uh, Jeremy Grant, who was just a uh, knockdown. He'll knock down threes, mid-range. All that, and he can also finish. He's like a miniature young LeBron James almost. I mean, LeBron can uh, shoot when he wants to, and he can finish. So that's what I see in the picture of Jeremy Grant, and that's what I think the Pistons are going to be the face of the future. Well, comparing to LeBron James, completely wrong. LeBron James is a way better player, top five of all time. Second of all, you guys can, will not be able to do anything, especially when you guys put in your bench players. Killian Hayes, he won't do anything. Sadiq Bey, goodbye. Josh Jackson, get, send him back to the G League. Nothing can happen with those players. All right, let me ask you. Who do you think has the best set of rookies this year? Uh, K. Cunningham is a lot better than our pick, than our small forward pick. But I think that, we, that with the right training, our rookie, will be able to be just as good as K coming in in the next few years. 
Um, so I do think that that is true. I think Cade Cunningham is going to be the the rookie who is just gonna lead the floor. And but you also see Memphis has some good rookies uh, too, and they're gonna carry on. And yeah. all right. Well, thank you, Christian. Thank you, Josiah. And that is it for PTI. See you next time.